Okay. Predictions for 2020. This is a story on ABC, so uh, let's get on with it. Don't a lot of people say that? You know, it's going to go this way, it's going to go that way, it's going to be a disaster, it's going to be a good thing. A lot of this is bullshit, you know? Just simply claims, oh, things are going to be better this year, oh, things are going to be different this year, the world's going to change. Mostly, no. Um, things this year will be much like last year, and much like, a, well, you know, 2021 will probably be very similar to 2020. So, yeah. You know, it's not a great revolution there, revelation, alteration. But many personal predictions. They're probably more realistic, more grounded. And con credulous people. This is where the shit hits the fan. Not merely good will ideas because you like Jesus or good personal choices because you basically want to get in the shape like you used to be. This is psychotics for you. Come on. Mm. Trump will shine, but it's going to be a very close race. Uh, it's hard to say. Depends who he's facing off against, but I do think Trump will win. So I agree with that. But I'm not claiming to be psychic, so I don't know how that's really valid. And generalizations about a year of dignity? Come on, get real. So number one. Great. But you know what? These people are generalising. You know, wh whether they call themselves psychics or mediums, despite what you fuckers in the spiritualist church say, most of the time there is no difference other than some claim to have psychical powers, some claim to have tarot card skill, other people claim to do things with divination rods, and some people claim to talk to the dead, or claim to talk to spirit guides, which are disincarnate anyway. So in any case, it's all pretty much the same. Potential generalization. There's going to be change, but it may or may not come. It's that kind of prediction. Come on. If you're doing the right thing. And hey, if it doesn't happen and it doesn't take off, you didn't do the right thing. There you are. I'm right. Even when I'm wrong. So if you remember any of that prediction, when anything good happens to you, she was right. But if you, if you remember that prediction when bad shit happens, God knows why you would if you've got more important things to worry about. I guess she's right too, because, you know, the right things weren't in the right place, so you didn't get the right results. This is how fraudulent these things are, I know, admittedly. It's a very, very tiny report on the news. But these people are just playing on your credulity. Please try and wake up. 